What is up, everybody? Switch Force Nation. I'm your host, Zach. I've got Gabe and Jake, and we're excited to announce something brand new that we think will be fun for us and all of you and allow us to interact Ooh, right. together rhyme. more. I'm also the king of rhymes, but today I'm wearing my Switch Force hat, and so we are introducing our Switch Force Game Club. Now, this is an idea we've kicked around for a while, and so we're going to test it out and see what you guys think. Most importantly, there is a straw poll link in the description where you need to go and vote for which game you want. Now, we'll get to those options in a second, but basically the idea here is that we will announce the game we're playing. Hopefully, some of you can get it. They will be Nintendo exclusives uh, that are easy to acquire, and then we'll play it, and we'll make two or three episodes discussing our experience and your experience with the game based on your comments, your emails, uh, and kind of have a fun way to play through um, some either forgotten or overlooked or just favorite Nintendo games together uh, while we wait for Switch and even beyond. If it, if it works out well and everybody's having fun. We noticed how much you guys and girls love Comment Force, the podcast, and so we wanted to introduce a third pillar uh, to our, our interaction with you guys. So, Jake and Gabe, why don't you guys take the honors of announcing the first three choices for our inaugural game club? I'll go with the first one. We picked Hyrule Warriors. Because it's a game that I never finished. I love Zelda, but it's not really a Zelda game. And I figure since, you know, the Zelda hype train is is uh, well on its way. And it's almost here. Um, Could but, have picked Spirit Tracks if you wanted a real train. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Well, I don't know why you didn't say that before. But we pick Hyrule Warriors. That's one of the options. It's on Wii U. It's not super expensive. Uh, it's also on you, 3DS. So it's accessible from two platforms. Correct. And if you guys already have the game, feel free to just play along with us. Uh, we are going to have, like we said, two or three episodes. We haven't decided exactly how we're going to break those up yet. Uh, but kind of depends that, on the length of the game and, and the number of comments and, and feedback we get. Um, but yeah, Hyrule Warriors is option one. Jake, give us option two. All right. Option two is a g game that we have talked about in previous videos, uh, the wonderful 101. Um, I never played this. My experience with the game is watching Zach play this at E3 two or three years ago, however long that was. Very long. Um, longer than that. <laughs> was it? Yeah. I don't even know. I'm so old that every year is just blurring together. <laughs> Jake, is, anyways, Jake is approaching 40, so you know it's going to be a rough rough few years. <laughs> you mean 440. <laughs> yeah, wonderful 101. Uh, I'm approaching 101. That's <laughs> why we're picking this game. It's to celebrate my 101st birthday. It released Came out in, in 2013. 2000, yeah, 2013, yeah. buddy. Yeah, so it's a, it's a Wii U game. It's one that I've wanted to play forever. Someone mentioned it on Comment for us recently, and so it's just it's a cool choice. Um, and then I'll bring in the third title, uh, which is a little bit more oddball, but it's Yoshi's Island DS. And this is available, obviously, on DS, uh, but also on Wii U Virtual Console, so it's something that can be acquired uh, quite easily, quite cheaply. Um, and I love Yoshi's Island, the original. I've been playing Yoshi's Woolly World uh, on 3DS, and I thought it'd be fun to include a platformer here uh, just to kind of mix up the genres. So again, to recap, you've got Hyrule Warriors, The Wonderful 101, and Yoshi's Island DS. Those are your three choices. Click the link in the description where the straw poll is. You can vote for one of the three games. The highest vote getter uh, will be our first game club title we'll announce it you guys can send us any nostalgic stories or memories uh or if you're playing it for the first time and then we'll make like i said two or three episodes and we'll get your feedback and we'll really incorporate you guys along the ride and just have a good old nintendo uh party basically so yes yeah, uh early next week monday or tuesday we'll come back say hey this is what won the straw poll this is the game we're gonna do and by that point, we would have already worked out a structure to how many videos we're going to make. So we'll have you guys play up to like a certain point or, or something like, like like that, depending on the game. And uh, from then on... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a little bit more once we know the game uh, that we're playing and give you guys the details in that in that announcement. Um, and yeah, not sure if it's going to be tied to Comment Force uh, or if we'll make a separate video. Either way, you'll know. But go vote. Please participate if you are excited about this and want to be involved. And like I said, if it goes well... We will continue to do th these uh, even after the Switch launches and uh, cover a whole lot of Nintendo ground, which should be really fun. So we are very pumped about it. Hope you are as well. Thank you so much, as always, for all your support. We are super grateful to have cleared 20,000 subscribers before the launch of the Switch. Super incredibly impressed with all the comments and interaction and community love that we've got on comment force and so we hope that this is a fun uh, new addition for you all. Until the time, though, go vote, go vote, go vote. And for myself, Gabe and Jake, Switch Force out.